Alright guys, welcome to a brand new video today. In this video, I am going to be talking about the most recent Fortnite update, which a lot of people are really mad about. Normally, you know, you got like, I'll see like shills, right, on Twitter that are like, oh my god, epic, yes. Yes, amazing, best best changes ever. And then you know the other people that are like you know making you know getting mad about a few changes. But um, in this instance, it's like literally every single person on my Twitter timeline was complaining about it. Um, so I figured I'd voice my opinions in this video and just kind of try to come up with some solutions to fix problems um, in the game right now. Things that were um, you know obviously a lot of the stuff is reverting what was done in this update but there's also a lot of things that I feel like can make the, the game better um, that they just haven't really done either they're not really main things about this update but just kind of like you know bad parts about Fortnite in general so the first thing has to do with coning people uh, it's a common practice where if someone gets above you you can cone them right you can place a cone through their ramp above them which traps them and then you can therefore put walls on either side of them and trap them However, if there is any ramp touching a wall, it seems to be like the sides of the ramp. It seems to be that you cannot place any traps whatsoever. So this can affect a few different situations. One, the person ramps above you, uh, you cone them and then try to place traps on either side of them. Um, so that's kind of like in the middle of a gunfight. And then there's another one that um, I had started doing and I started posting videos of on Twitter where there's a lot of situations where you're trapped in a one by one and you have a dude who is outside your one by one pickaxing it, right? And if the person is a good player, they don't really want to stand directly on top of your one by one because you could edit them down into your cube and then place traps all around you and kill them. Um, what what you would do essentially is they they would stand on the ramp right so that you can't edit them down into your one by one and you edit out the wall in front of you place a cone above them to block them from going further forward and then you place walls on either side of them along with traps and then before they can edit down the ramp and try to shotgun you you run back into your one by one and close the wall and this is kind of a I've been showing clips of what this looks like um, and this is essentially impossible as of right now and I'm showing some examples uh, of me trying to do that in playground right now um, it, it, I'm using bounce pads because I didn't find spike traps in playground um, but I assure you they function the same way I saw a video of it uh, on Twitter um, and they work the exact it works the exact same way as uh, spike traps do another thing that's not even part of this update that I think they should get rid of is the little shotgun loading ring you get whenever you shoot a shotgun build and then try to edit and shotgun again this is something that made the, sh the you know the tax shotgun absolute uh, dog meat because the one advantage it really had was the draw speed Uh, over the pump so you could go for like crazy you know edit sequences where you're like oh attack shotgun shot edit shoot again edit shoot again um, and then you could do the the helicopter technique or as it has now been coined the Tifu classic um, which I mean you can do with a pump I guess but like, you can't do it in quick succession and it's something that made the tack useful um, so like the, the previous advantages that the tack had was draw speed um, which allowed you to do plays like that uh, and fire rate. Fire rate is completely useless now because every single player that plays this game for the most part is going to build immediately when you shoot them. So that advantage is completely pointless. And then the other advantage, which is draw speed, is completely gone. Uh, because if you guys don't remember, they nerfed draw speed for pumps and tacks at the same time. And then around four months later, they um, buffed the draw speed on the pump and didn't change it at all on the tack. So as of right now, uh, the pump draw speed and the tack draw speed are virtually the same. Um, so the tack has nothing going for it whatsoever. So if you if you make the tack faster than the pump again, like significantly faster and get rid of the shotgun loading ring, it might be somewhat useful. Um, if you don't want to do that, then just please delete it. Because if I get a tack shotgun one more time off spawn, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm really going to lose it. Just as a quick little side note to illustrate how trash the tack shotgun is when you're playing against good players. There was a streak of seven games because I was keeping track of it on stream. So I won. I was winning like I won like two games out of the first three that I played on stream. And then I got seven games in a row where I either got no gun off spawn or a great tack shotgun. I, I believe it was five of the seven. I got a great tack. Two of the seven. I got no gun whatsoever. I lost. All, I did not make it out of the spawn in any of those seven games with the great tack every single time dying to someone with a pump shotgun and shield what do you know after that streak ends i get a pump two games in a row and i win both of those games 
So that, that kind of just goes to show you how important not getting a great attack shotgun is. So either give it some sort of buff or advantage or just kind of, you know, get rid of it. Another part of this update that I didn't like and a lot of other people didn't like is how they got rid of HP slash shield per kill, as well as getting rid of the 50 of each material type drop uh, that everyone would give when you'd kill them. So if, you're, if your skills and your ability to observe the things around, around you is very, very bad, or you just haven't played Fortnite in a while, essentially whatever you need whether it be HP or shield let's just say you're 50 50 HP no shield if you kill someone you're gonna shoot up to 100 HP flat if you got 100 HP flat and no shield and you kill someone you're gonna shoot up to 100 HP and 50 shield it's essentially whatever you need it's gonna it's gonna fill you up by 50 um, which is really good because the main problem in pubs is that as they get sweatier and sweatier you just gotta fight like so many people over and over and over um, and when people are putting pressure on you, even if you have the minis, um, you often don't really get enough time to pop them because the players are going to be pressuring you, pickaxing your box, and, and not really giving you any opportunity uh, to pop your shields. And this was a big problem before they added the 50 uh, HP slash shield per kill, and I even made a video on it. And uh, to include some evidence, I posted a little clip from when I went to Pleasant. I killed 70, or se not 70 people, seven people. Um, I killed seven people in Pleasant, and when I was leaving Pleasant, I had like 65 HP, no bandages, no minis, no 50 pot no nothing and like a hundred wood now if I was in that same exact situation but instead I was um, and, and by the way in that clip I, I found no shield whatsoever it's not like I just left pleasant with no shield the whole every single engagement I had no shield every person I killed had no shield none of them dropped shield so if I was leaving if I went there that same exact situation but with the update that we've been playing on for the last month Chances are I would have left Pleasant with the same amount of kills except for maximum material in nearly every category as well as probably either 150 health or 200. So 100, 100 HP uh, 50 shield or 100 HP 100 shield. But instead I left with um, virtually nothing. So that's kind of why they added it I think was to fix that um, because the player, the player base was getting better. And um, you'd have to just fight all these good players back to back to back. And what was happening is like you'd fight seven people and you'd end up dying to the worst player out of the seven that you killed. Because by the time you get to the seventh guy, you're running around with like 30 HP and 40 wood. And you're just like, it's like the ultimate struggle. But that never really happened, um, at least too often after the update that they put out. And then now they've reverted it. Um, so... On top of that, the uh, the farming rate uh, in terms of hitting down trees, hitting down rocks, whatever, has also been decreased back to the previous value. So originally they increased it by 40%. Um, now they're decreasing it by 40% back to its old value. Um, so what that translates into is pretty much just more time uh, hitting trees and hitting rocks instead of like actually fighting people. Um, which especially in like a pub playlist format where you're supposed to be having fun um, Doesn't really make too much sense. Anyways, that's it for the video I'm getting back into YouTube So if you agree with what I said in this video, then drop a like and if you disagree Just leave a little comment saying why you disagree um, in the comment section down below Also, if you want to make sure my videos actually pop up in your sub box All you have to do is cl click on the bell right next to the sub button um, I, You guys have heard me say it a million times, but I'm gonna say it again talk to a YouTube employee and that's the only way that you can guarantee that my videos actually show up in your sub box uh, so click on the bell if you wish to do so I stream pretty much every day on twitch over at twitch.tv slash sir Demetrius um, I start my stream at around like 8 or 9 p.m. Pacific um, but if you want to you know catch up with me and 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 see when I stream and, and want to get notifications for it um, follow me on Twitter or Instagram I always post on there before I go live and also I just I love my viewers so much I literally I care for you guys so much but please like and comment and subscribe uh, to boost my video into the algorithm to get me more money and more views. Thanks, guys. And I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.